What's going on, guys? It's 9.41 in the morning, West Coast time, for the Monday, the 21st of October 24. And we were John C. Roseman, California. Things may be happening, and you'll never know on the screen. <sighs> Got Orkin coming today, but I just wanted to talk, even when they come in, about this situation. In fact, my, uh, my insurance, my decisions, and everything else. See, Kaiser... And I wrote about this one a while ago, that they are striking today. Actually, not. Well, it's personnel who are contracted with a union that are striking against Kaiser. I did a video about this one. Get up! Sorry. Hello, John. Hey. How's it going? Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, just walk right over them, why don't you? Uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, she's in the bedroom. She's in the bedroom. She's okay. She's just... She may be reacting when she starts uh, hearing him or smelling him. Okay. <laughs> I, well, she can't hear. But she can smell, you know, things. So just kind of stay out of the bedroom there. Well, I've been a Dodgers fan for a long while, yeah. Well, well, Violet took him long enough. Took him about five years. I was hoping maybe we'd see a World Series between New York Yankees versus the Mets. That would have been something to see. Long time ago, we... Yankees are okay. Yankees aren't the same anymore. Yeah, I know. I know. Take it easy. Yeah, I could talk to the guy a little bit later. He's one of our maintenance guys over here does the uh, bug thing. Because he used to be a bug guy a long time ago. But now he's uh, part of us. Okay, concerning back to Kaiser at this point. I did a video concerning about the situation when I heard about it. And I had to do some uh, discussions about it. Got a few hits. But this is... Uh, this affects a lot of people who are under Kaiser. This really does. And I gotta get the fan on. Hang on a second. No. Yeah, I know, Mama. I know. There. I just gotta find out where the hell he is. Okay. You're going to hunt, Ma. My dog's on a hunt. That's my dog for you. Okay, so getting back to the situation over here. Kaiser had let us members what's going on regarding the mental health situation. And uh, last week I did receive a phone call from the appointment desk. I think Friday or Saturday, one of those two days. And it kind of kind of ticked me off about that one. So I had to do responses on this. And this is, you know, this is affecting my health and everybody else's health. I mean, this is not the easiest damn thing to go through, I'll tell you that much. Especially when you know you got to wait for maybe two or three weeks for another appointment. And how much are the uh, therapists are getting sandwiched? I mean, it was reported that they needed the time necessary to do the paperwork to keep up with it. And do you know what it's like to deal with paperwork like that? If you guys haven't been a transcriber or taken a class in transcribing uh, regarding the medical industry, oof. That's the only thing I got to say is woof. Yeah, I took a class. Lasted about a few months on that one, or maybe about a semester or two. I forgot. But it's a lot of information. That was a hell of a long time ago, too. About 30 years ago. Back in the 90s. I needed another profession, so I was going into it. But learning all those medical uh, terminology, that was another class right there prior to that. So as long as, as long as I know what the therapy was and what the terms were, that was fine. This time, I'm not so quite sure. So the therapists need the time necessary to do the paperwork, but they're not getting paid as much, and they're getting saturated. They want more personnel. Now, NorCal, Northern California Kaiser, as I said before, had protested. And for a while, they struck. No, they were striking, and then there was concessions made. 
So Kaiser actually did come through. But now it's Southern California's turn. And they started the marching today. One of the local, local news channels did the East Los Angeles area. We also have them up here in Antelope Valley. We don't have a Kaiser, but we have Kaiser offices scattered among Par uh, Palmdale and Lancaster. We don't have a dedicated major hospital. We had to borrow hospitals for Kaiser patients to use and be contracted with them. But this is this is what we got to deal with. I have to wait. What Kaiser says, yes, they'll have people, but you know it's not going to be the same people as I said before. Now, from what they have, Kaiser had said on their website, and they're buried in there somewhere. I mean, even as a member, I had to get to some of this information, but they got bargaining uh, updates. So there's data to recent of October 21st. They got a video message about it. Uh, Kaiser Permanente will continue to deliver mental health and addiction medicine care during the strike and to bargain in good faith until the deal is done. Today, some of the employees represented the National Union of Healthcare Workers are, cho are choosing to walk away from their patients at various Kaiser Permanente facilities in Southern California to take part, part of an open-ended strike called by union leaders. All Kaiser Permanente members will continue to have timely access to individual therapy appointments during the strike. Hardly. Patients have the opportunity to be seen by a professional in our extensive network of highly qualified licensed therapists if their regular provider chooses to take part in the strike. Where necessary, we are contacting patients whose scheduled appointments are impacted and offering options that meet their needs. And the problem is, I had an appointment this week. It got canceled. And I was going to use her too. So I don't know if she's striking or not, but they are canceling every appointment. And that means Kaiser themselves canceling the appointments. Not the, not the therapist, Kaiser themselves. And they're stating in their message today, today's strike is entirely unnecessary and unfortunately not surprising. The union leaders have been threatening to strike since before we began bargaining in July. The union has been slow walking negotiations despite the strong proposals Kaiser Permanente has put upon the table. The union's proposals at the table have been overreaching and unreasonable. In bold terms here. The union is in calling for more time to care for their patients. It is demanding more money for therapists to spend less time seeing patients. A key issue is how much time the union wants to take therapists away from direct patient care. The union is proposing that full-time therapists increase the amount of time they are not seeing patients to nearly half of their time, at least 19 hours a week. This is unacceptable and would significantly decrease access to appointments for mental care for our patients. And then they talk about a strong market. Uh, they're well compensated, 18 above the market. So, highlights of their proposal was an 18 wage increase over four years. Right? It's complicated. I got to get a uh, PDF file so I can hold on to their stuff here. I'm a union guy. I'll look past the damn crap that they got. So. Okay, but what was put into the paper for the LA Times dated today? Uh, from Emily Albert Reyes following this thing. Now she writes, Psychologists, therapists, and other mental health professionals who work for Kaiser Permanente across Southern California went on strike Monday morning, protesting that the health care organization had failed to address enduring problems that hampered its mental health care. The union, um, 
the National Union of Healthcare Workers, I'll just call it the union, said that uh, 2,400 mental health, nearly, uh, 2,400 mental health workers had launched job action after Kaiser Management had turned down proposals the union said would staunch employee turnover and improve care. Now, they never said anything about turnover in Kaiser. So the union contract for the workers expired September 30th. So now they're working without a uh, contract here. Unless we strike, our co-workers are going to keep leaving, said San Diego psychologist um, in a union statement before the walkout. And our patients are going to keep struggling in an underfunded, understaffed system that doesn't meet their needs. But I'm sorry, I'm a Kaiser provider here. I am part of management here, and I'm telling you at this point of here, we have, we have given you more money, but you want... Less time to do the patient care. It's not acceptable to our members. And you will cease and desist because your union is <laughs> folly. And we treat the patients as such. But we are gathering the money as much as we can from the patients because of your negotiated contract, which means we need to raise everyone else's rights. How dare you interfere in our market money? Don't you know I got a Mercedes Benz I need to get, and I'm an executive here. Of course, I'm doing an exaggeration at this point over here. It may not be substantiated. Aha! So he's lying! Well, I'm just making a remark on a damn thing. How dare you? I dare because I'm a patient, damn it. But we have adequate therapy. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I don't want the therapist that you probably would have reassigned. I want the one I've got. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be going to another insurance company dealing with a mediocre one. Mediocre service and mediocre people. But I'm here anyway, so what the hell. Okay, head of strikes, uh, continuing with the uh, LA, way, uh, LA Times article. Ahead of the strike, Kaiser said it made strong proposals to improve wages, benefits, preparation time for therapists, and faulted the union for slow walking negotiation process, saying that any strike was because union leadership chose the path rather than a path for an agreement. The strike comes after one year, one year after Kaiser agreed to $200 million settlement with California regulators who found that patients were subject to extensive wait times Yep, for therapy appointments. Kaiser agreed to pay 50 mil in penalty and 150 mil over five years to improve the health care. Didn't work much, did it, guys? So Kaiser comes back. Said that even before this settlement, it started ramping up the health care spending. Organizations spent more than a million, uh, more than a billion to expand health, mental health care in recent years. Bullshit. And increased its Southern California mental health workforce by more than 30%. Yeah, how much of it did it go to executives, I wonder. As the health care organization was seeing through, throughout California, throughout the nation, this mental health crisis, we knew that we needed to act quickly, said Vice President of Behavioral Health and Wellness for Southern California in Hawaii. Union leaders said the problems have persisted. In a, later, in a recent letter to the state, uh, the union alleged Kaiser was continuing to violate California law, which sets timelines for providing mental health care, and that these failures are widespread. In the surveys of the Kaiser mental health workers in SoCal, 62% of the respondents said their departments lacked enough staff to provide timely and appropriate care. Yeah, just how many people do you still have there that's going to be adequately helping out people during the strike? But you didn't have enough people before the strike? The union said it's pushing for higher wages, better benefits, and more guaranteed time to handle duties outside of patients' appointments. As in doing the damn paperwork. Members lamented that unlike NorCal, the union said that Kaiser therapists are now guaranteed seven hours a week to handle tasks such as preparing treatment plans, SoCal, Therapists with Kaiser may only get two hours a week. Yeah, you got to remember all that stuff. You got to be a rapid typist at this point over here. Now, as I said before, concerning about transcription. Before I got into that little bit of a 
job retraining, and I just went into medical and billing because I thought it was easier to do, do that. You had to know the terminology. You had to know the terminology, what the hell the doctors were talking about, because otherwise you didn't know how to spell the damn thing or how or where and what it was. The terminology is basically giving you an anatomy lesson, uh, breaking down words that doctors have to affix, to affix problems and conditions on body parts or mental conditions or something like that. And once you know the, once you know how to interpret it, then the fun part was listening to the doctors on recorded lines and try to type in the transcription like crazy. And sometimes you had to get a book somewhere. I mean, this was back in the 90s, okay? This wasn't computer-operated, which may make it easier or worse. I don't know, because I've never been through the current stuff. I can only remember what happened back in the 90s. But we actually had hard books, and we're getting into computer transcription. Just getting into the damn thing. And we had to understand and study the shit. Therapists have to deal with a hell of a lot of mental health conditions out there. In fact, what was it back in the night between the nineties and two thousands they came up with their own diagnosis handbook regarding mental health. They started regarding mental health as a regular medical situation like every other medical situation. I know because I worked for an insurance company working through that damn situation there. There was a lot of stuff we had to learn too. More on the on the story from LA Times, there's a lot of things we need to do in preparation for a visit. Developing appropriate treatment plans, writing letters to the clients, they don't give us enough time to do that, according to a shrink. A psychiatric social worker in Fontana from Kaiser. People think therapy is just talking to people, but it's more than that. According to another counselor, psychiatric counselor, says she saw dozens more patients a day in a Kaiser virtual therapy program meant for mild to moderate patients. Sessions each lasted half an hour, but scheduling and other tasks cut into that time. I'm not kidding. I mean, I was lucky enough to get maybe 40, 45 minutes with my therapist. It took her a few minutes after the allotted time to get onto the site. I mean, maybe about five or six minutes. And then I had to wait until about, oh, what was it, uh, 10 before the hour was up to make sure we actually had another appointment time. So sometimes it's not all that much time to do this kind of stuff. Uh, the same counselor I just looked at said it's, li it's likened to be a factory working. It's really hard to stay a good therapist in the system. We have to make choices like do I make eye contact or do I finish this note? And I'd seen her do that. I've seen my own therapist do that. Union has proposed series of raises totaling more than 30% over four years. Union leaders say the wages, wage hikes are needed to bring their compensation in line with other healthcare professionals at Kaiser. Kaiser says so Cal uh, therapists already have a generous benefit and compensation with wages that are above market rates and that offered rates at the bargaining table totaling more than 18%. It also offered more time for duties outside face-to-face -face appointments. But that of the union proposal could pull the therapist away from seeing patients for a significant chunk of their work week. Healthcare system said it had plans in place to minimize possible disruptions from the walkout, which has defined, which has no defined length, by the way. Uh, Kaiser relied... Because Kaiser relies not only on employees, but on an external network of contracted providers for mental health care, it estimated that 60% of the patients receiving mental health and addiction services are currently getting care from providers who will not be participating with the strike. Unfortunately, my particular person is contracted. If the regular provider is on strike, Kaiser said, patients will have the opportunity to be seen by other professionals in our extensive network of highly qualified licensed therapists. I want my own damn therapist. Thank you very much, Kaiser, you schmucks. They don't get it. Kaiser professionals, the ones who are treating the patients, get it. Management, blue.
You don't get it. We got our own therapist that we can deal with, that we can relate with, that we can talk with our problems. That we can, if we got another situation coming up, at least we got a rapport with them that we've already developed. We have a sense of trust. Maybe, just a bit of a trust with them. You give me a new guy on here, it's like, tell me a problem at this point. I just like it to give me a space. Tell me ours. Goodbye. Click. I want to deal with my own therapist who's dealing with my own neurosis, dealing with my own psychosis. I already been screwed over about a year and a half ago when I got one, and I thought I was developing a rapport. I had a few visits with this person, and then they just yanked him away. For whatever reason, gone. Now I got stuck with another one. It took me about a year and a half to get a rapport with the therapist I got. And I like this person. I like this person. Management doesn't get it. Once you get a rapport going with that particular patient, the patient wants to stay with the doctor. That's the one thing I don't like sometimes when you have a, a team. Once you get a rapport with one particular doctor, it's hard to get another rapport with another doctor once you come back in there. You don't know them. You're not comfortable with them. They're just another, uh, another person in a white lab coat. At least in my opinion, in my own experiences at this point over here. So, yeah, I got an issue over this thing. I really, really, really got an issue on this thing. And besides, this one already made national news anyway on a few other networks, so I'm just going to get the... I'm going to get the hard copies, uh, the PDF files, so I have copies of these things. CBS has got it. CNN's got it. This is concerning about something that's totally what's happening right now, and people just don't get it. It's like picking your own damn primary care physician. I mean, if you got one of those kind of HMO or PPL situations over here, and you got one particular doctor you like, when something happens to that particular doctor, and you throw in a nurse practitioner or somebody else that you don't know, how do you feel about that? Do you trust this person? Do you know this person? Who the hell is this stranger? You don't know me. Why, do we, why am I dealing with you? When it comes down for mental health, it takes a long time for me personally to develop a sense of trust, to understand that this particular provider may be beneficial or may be a pain in the ass. May treat me as other than just another money pot or just, eh, well, I'm just meh. That's about it. Meh. I really don't care about you. Why should I care about you? I'm just here because I'm told to be here. So tell me a damn problem and shut the fuck up. How does that help you out? You're told to shut the fuck up and just put the doctor to the person. How does that work? So this is what's happening. Kaiser is striking because of the reasons. And Kaiser is saying, you don't get it, do you? We're doing everything we can for our patients. You guys don't care. Yeah, they do care about the patients, but they also care about getting screwed over one way or another. That's the thing. They don't like getting screwed over one way or another. And this kind of hurts. This does. Because now we got to deal with it. We patients have to deal with it. For some of us who actually have different plans and may have to pay for these things, you know, it does cost us bucks. But some of us with different plans, it may not cost us as much on money, but it costs us in trust and faith and in time. Time we make for the therapist and to talk with the therapist. So maybe the only friend we've got out there that actually listens to us, maybe recording a hell of a lot of stuff, you know, they have to write the stuff down, but let them. This is what they do. They make our chart. They want the patients to participate in the uh, questionnaires before because they want to chart them out where their situation is mentally. The questions that they would ask are personal and they matter more. They matter a great deal. And these people just don't get it. They just don't get it. With the chart, 
it gives the computer uh, a graph charting where the patient is going in their care. Now there are ways to ignore it, but at this point I am not. What I'm saying to myself is, okay, they need to see where my head is at. I answer the questions. I let them know. It's one thing to talk to the therapist and give them that information. I like to face to face if I can, but they're too damn far away. So I do computer FaceTime. I do it looking at them. They look at me. We're seeing each other's body movements. We're seeing each other's... Um, we're trying to read off each other. They'll see the tension. They'll see the nervousness happening here. They'll be ask, asking me what's going on. And I will tell them. I'm telling them I'm having a hard time right now as it is. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But you want this and you want that. And everybody wants, 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 wants. What about what the patient wants? But the therapists are not trying to push it on my throat saying, well, what do I need to do for you? No, they're listening. What do you want? What, uh, what kind of goal do you have? What, uh, how do you want to get past this? And sometimes my answers are, I don't know, because I got triggered left and right. I got into a depressional state, and I got to work through this damn thing like crazy. My therapist would ask me, and what are you doing? Are you still doing your, your uh, videos? Are you still doing your audios? I'm going, yeah, because it's the only way I can do to get past this nightmare I'm dealing with. What are the, what you got, what got you triggered? They'll be asking me. And I'll, I watch this, I watch that, I watch this. I like this favorite show a lot because I've been watching the series. And unfortunately, the elements that they keep showing on there, they're the same triggers that get to me. If I happen to see real life, I know I'm getting triggered off of that. We're getting into the holiday season, I'm getting triggered off of this. This is the kind of stuff I talk about on my own videos. This is the kind of stuff I talk about. What's well, affecting me in here, and what's affecting me in here. And what you're seeing me doing right now is trying to get some copies of stuff that are happening around Southland concerning about this strike. They'll be pulling elements off of everybody else, but it's the same thing. They'll talk about what the uh, Kaiser wants, but also what the union leaders are trying to tell the press. So both sides are still way off. They're getting started on this stuff. Uh, but according to the Kaiser and Unions, you know, it's happened since June. They've been working without a contract for about a month right now. The, the therapists. All they want, more time to deal with the paperwork, more personnel to help them out with the paperwork, and be competitive with the market. But this is a way to help out the patients, one way or another. How? Okay. As I said before about the paperwork, they need to know what's going on. They need to find out what's happening in your head. Especially in my head. So if I'm going to be talking about me, I'll be talking about me. And as I said before, they use the graphs. They want that done before they can talk to the patient. You give them a chart. But of course they'll ask, well, can you do it afterwards? Yeah, I'll do it afterwards. Because they still want it recorded. My therapist was trying to explain this to me. Once I got the gist of it, I'm like, you mean to tell me of this particular thing and this particular thing here? They're showing me how screwed up I really am according to the computer algorithms, according to the zeros and ones. It's almost like looking at a patient's chart for physical. They need to chart this patient out. People may find it offensive. They want their information kept private. Well, they got to make records and the doctor's got to get make records. So what the hell is so damn private? In an organization like Kaiser, they depend upon a care team. Therefore, the team must have the same information. If you don't have your favorite doctor there, they got a substitute over here. Sucks as it is. 
A therapist is one thing. A primary care physician, well, that's probably almost the same damn thing. As once you've developed a, a trust with one particular doctor, unfortunately, they have a tendency of disappearing. So therefore, you got the team. But in any information database that they have, they are tracking your illness. They are tracking your conditions. They are tracking you. Period in order to help diagnose better or treat you better. Now me, I still don't trust a medical establishment. But then that's me personally. And it took me a hell of a long while trying to get a th uh, trying to get trust with a therapist. With a PCP, different story altogether. I feel like a damn lab rat. I feel like a damn lab rat. Because I look like a damn lab rat. Squeak, squeak. So what this union go, uh, this union is striking right now, it's not going to be done overnight. They're going to continue this thing. I'm going to put whatever fr information I have into into my log, into the description when I get the stamp thing out, and let you read all the information they have. And if you can, get to uh, kp.org, and they have a link in there. Or the situation. Let me see. They got me signed off. That's good. What I need to do is go on to the main site that they have for Kaiser Permanente. And I want to see if they've got. They got a link in the main Kaiser Permanente. In uh, healthy Kaiser Permanente dot org slash Southern California slash front door. And in that territory, they've got a small link that says NUHW Labor Activity. My region of Southern California, this is the area we got the issue with. And on there, it'll give you link after link after link going as far as June, as far as I discovered, of how this mess started. And it'll be from the corporate side. I don't know about their side their side being the union i know what kaiser's would be but i'm not quite sure sure what this is going to be except what i read in the newspapers now if they've got it in their own union stuff i need to research it i need to post it because this is what happens and I need to see if they've got anything going on. Uh, a lot of hospitals in L.A. and Northern Cal Southern California. Kaiser Psych Social. Here we go. Here we go. Let me see what they've got on this one. Now I'm already at the uh, nuhw.org slash workplace slash. And I'm trying to get into the uh, Kaiser Psych Social Southern California page. So I'm waiting for the link up to hit. And this is also another thing I got to post. Because I also want to put this on, on this video as well. Now if there was a way of getting this message over to my therapist, I would say, you do what you got to do, girl. That's it. That being said...